Hey everyone, Vegetarian Zombie here, diving into an old but new fave, Astroneer. I recently watched the no clip documentary on this game and forgot how much I enjoyed it. And of course, playing it again after several years reminded me that the game itself features a miserable onboarding experience. I thought I'd create a series on getting up to speed with Astroneer instead of let's play, rather, how about a let's learn sort of thing. By the way, I'm on the Xbox, but I'm guessing the controller is similar to other platforms. Okay, I'm creating a new game and jumping down to the planet. See you at the bottom of the gravity well. Okay, here I am on the planet, looking like I'm on the toilet. Gotta press the Y button. That's the only thing I can do. Okay, if you're like me and from Neptune, you play with inverted controls. I grew up playing flight sim, so up is down makes total sense to me. If you are weird like me, you're going to go you're going to go into the options and set the mode to inverted. Yet, when you press the left trigger to drag the cursor, you'll notice it's not inverted. Don't worry, it's in early access. I'm sure they'll fix it. Wait. What creepy voices in my head? What did you say? Oh dear. Okay, okay. The basics. Left stick to walk, right stick to look around. Yeah, you knew that. The game is basically survival light. You just need to track two things, oxygen and power. Oxygen is blue, power is yellow. Your tether gives you both. Walk too far and your tether goes away. You'll notice that the blue bar on your backpack is also shrinking. You're losing air. Head back to the shelter and you'll get your air back. Nice. Okay, head over to the landing pad. This gives you quests and walks you through the game. Get near it and press the Y button. You get quests! Huzzah! Just an FYI, keep an eye on your tether while you are reading the log. If you're too far away, it's chokey chokey time. You'll notice a reward section. This is for completed quests. They give you loot, so we get an oxygenator and a small printer. Basically, the freebies for starting the game. Press the green button and crap falls from the heavens. The oxygenator gives you both power and oxygen, and the printer allows you to craft stuff. They both come in boxes. Walk up to the oxygenator and press and hold the Y button. Now you have your oxygenator. We need to put it in our shelter. Notice there are attachment points. That's where we can add our oxygenator. Okay, here's for the weird controls. Press and hold the left trigger. Then move the cursor over the oxygenator. Press the right trigger to select it. Now use the right stick to drag it to the attachment points. When placed, press the right trigger again to drop it. Nice work. Okay, now we need to set up our printer. Drag our new printer off the landing zone. Put it near the oxygenator. In time, this whole area is going to be littered with crap. It's going to look like a junkyard hit by a tornado, but hey, it's your junkyard. Your printer needs power. You'll see a red plug. Left trigger on the plug end and drag it over to your shelter. Now you have power, huzzah. We want to make a platform for our printer. You'll see that we need resin. Ah, our first ingredient. Resin is a pretty common ingredient. It looks basically like hardened yellow snot on the landscape. It should be nearby. If you don't see it, pick a direction and walk. You can run by pressing in the left stick. If you don't run into resin after a short amount of time, head on back to your shelter and pick another direction. Don't worry about dying, you'll only lose what you're carrying. When you get close, press the X button to pull out your terrain manipulator. Hold down the left trigger to aim, and the right trigger to hoover up all that tasty resin. 
Make sure to dig underneath the resin as you'll find a whole lot more. When done, press the X button to put away your terrain manipulator and run back to your shelter. Okay, you made it back. To see your loot, press the B button. You'll see your backpack with a ton of attachment points for resources. On the bottom, you'll see a recipe that you can make. Now, if you want to make room, you can just left trigger and drag resin off your backpack and just throw it on the ground. Okay, head over to your printer and build your platform. You can draw close to it and press Y, or you can left trigger over it and press Y as well. Notice the lower right hand button is green. Basically, the printer sees what resources you are carrying. Build your table and then expand it. You can drag it around wherever it looks good. When you find a place, put your printer on top of it. You're going to lose power, just plug in the platform. Wow, that was a ton of stuff. Let's save. Head into the shelter and take a dump. And that's it for this episode. But as you can see, there's a whole lot more to this game. We are just literally scratching the surface. We have a lot of things to build. But hey, if you found this video useful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified of newer videos. As always, feel free to share advice in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.